Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we are uh, very excited and uh, filming here at Goose and Gander in Santa Lina with Chef Nick Jones, the man and legend. Um, we are, um, well, we were planning to do this uh, virtually, as, as we know with the global pandemic, but uh, thanks to the, the relaxation of guidelines uh, in the county, we're able to now be together and, and talk like real human beings and share some food and, and pairings and uh, talk about in depth. My name is Eduardo Dingler. I'm your host today for uh, Wine Access and Chef. Yeah, Nicholas Jones. Excellent, nice. Chef. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I, I've yeah. known you for years, been a huge fan of your food, and Thank today you. we actually get to share it with, with the audience yeah. and uh, a little more in depth. So tell us a little bit about your background. How'd you end up so, cooking in here? Well, uh, background goes back uh, about 20 years ago, starting in the kitchen, of course, uh, started as a dishwasher. Um, eventually going to culinary school and uh, working all over different parts of California. But uh, I came to the Napa Valley about eight years ago to study wine. And uh, I did a uh, nine month program at the CIA and, uh, and then eventually went on to doing my level one and level two song. Uh, and started over at Farmstead. I was over at Farmstead for about five years, uh -huh. sous chef, developed a charcuterie program. And then came on over here as executive chef about three Sweet. years ago. Wow, so. very, they're very lucky to have you. Yeah. Definitely Thank bring you. a lot of yeah. fun well, skills. To be here. Absolutely, yeah. goes both ways. Hey, yeah, cheers, because uh, this is definitely a focus on, on drinking and uh, eating and, and great conversations. That's right. Cheers to you guys as well. Ooh. And talking a little bit about the pairings, what we're doing today, it's, it's definitely inspired about uh, Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. And you gave us a, a couple different uh, dishes that people can try at home. Um, hopefully, I know a few friends have tried it already, and, and some with great success. Other, that's just not their gift. But uh, speaking of that, we, we put a little pairing suggestions. I'm very excited to try. So tell us a little bit about the dish today that we're having. Yeah, so we started off with a, a nice uh, summer squash salad. Uh, it, very simple salad uh, that is just a salted. So we salt it. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you, when you salt the zucchini or the squash ends up pushing off its liquids um, and then becomes more pliable. So you can see that it's uh, kind of ribbon-like. Uh -huh. uh, and then it also helps with the texture. It changes the texture of the, the zucchini so it's not so crunchy. Awesome. If you don't mind, I'm gonna dig yeah, in. Please do. Um, so it has a little bit more of a, uh, a nice texture to it. Uh, from there, we, we pour off all the, the liquid that the salt pushes off. We hit it with a little bit of uh, lemon and extra virgin olive oil, and then, um, and then, essentially like a, a, a McFoy mm -hmm. um, sauce, which we, mm. we make. That's a it's a uh, chili and garlic sauce. Sometimes I put fish sauce in there to kind of give it a little bit more of a umami kick. Extra layer. Um, and just a little bit of that on there. Thai basil, mint, and uh, and there's a little bit of Korean chili flavor. Wow, this is so. beautiful. You know, I. This is two things that I, I usually utilize at home that we, we like to play with, but never thought about putting them together. And this is the texture, the spice, the heat, and all the elements you have in there. Wow, it, it's a true party. It wakes up the palate. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely. I, and I thought uh, this Tumi Sablanc, which is uh, an icon, a, a staple from the Silver Oak family, kind of really ties in together. And um, as we were talking about uh, during the last week or so, this, this is the, definitely a... Uh, an oomph wine that, that's going to hold its hand sure. and kind of lift yep. the aromatics. Yeah, a little R.S. in there to, to kind of help touch. with some of the, the heat. Totally. There's not a lot of heat on this. No. But there's just a, just a little bit of heat there that, that works well with the little bit of R.S. That's, that's in the wine. Wow, really fun. Tell us a little bit about Goose and Gander and a little bit of the history. I know we were talking about and touring the place earlier, which you're doing some renovations. Sure. And uh, planning on reopening in July, which we're all really excited. But we are too. you said it's from the 1900s, the yeah. house itself. D during the Prohibition, uh, a man named Walter Martini um, built the home. Uh, he was a, a pretty well-known opera singer that uh, moved out here from the Napa Valley, built this home, and then got into the bootlegging business. Of so this was originally a you know, one of the original uh, bootleg houses of, of the Napa Valley. Uh-huh. And it's a beautiful layout. I mean, you have all the different floors and you have yeah. the patio. And yeah, it's, it's uh, and, and actually, 
as you walk into the back of the kitchen, and it's also laid out the same way. It's uh -huh. kind of layered. Uh -huh. it's, kind of, it's, it's our pirate ship, you know? Uh -huh. it's, like, <laughs> totally. you know it's like feeling yeah. like you're on a ship almost, you know? It, it does have layers to, to the building. And there's also what comes with that, too, is that there's, there's different fills depending on where you're at. So if you're up here in the main dining room, it might have a little bit more of a, um, uh, like a hunter's cabin fill to it with all the decoy ducks and, and whatnot. Uh, and then downstairs, you have uh, down in the bar, basement bar, you have um, a kind of a, a speakeasy fill, if you will. And then you go out to the garden, it's a whole other fill as well. Which there's a few things that people might not know. Like the, the program here, the bar program, was started with Scott. Scott Beatty, yeah. Scott Beatty, I yeah. uh, was a, a legend in the, in the, Absolutely. In the mixology world. Uh -huh. uh, there's been people like Vince Lee, who's a yeah. great friend of ours, and has put his imprint, and uh, I mean, a number of people. Um, also, I know that LeBron loves coming here oh, and spending a lot of time when he's around. Yeah, yeah, he took us down uh, down to LA uh, a couple of years ago and um, down to the um, All Star Games when they were down in LA. We did uh -huh. a private dinner actually with Vince, uh -huh. uh, Vince and I, and uh, and Rafa, which was yes, the old bar manager of ours. Uh, we all went down there and uh, it was a good time. Awesome. So, and and speaking of which, we did our. G and G Burger, which is uh, what is coming up next, and our uh, our great uh, sous chef here, Jason Bell, uh, prepared the burgers for us, and so um, fantastic. Let's see. We, we will me, uh, we'll dip into that next. Beautiful. So, if somebody doesn't know, which would be weird, you would have to live under a rock not to know that this is one of the top burgers in the country, right? This is definitely. Uh, Thank you so much. This is not only the Picture perfect and Instagrammable burger, but oh my god! I mean, you dream about this for months after having it, and you dream about having it again. Wow! So for this, we're gonna move into the uh, Schaefer 1.5 Cabernet, 100% Cabernet from uh, Staxley uh, Wine District, and let's see what side us. We were talking. I mean, there's there's a lot of versatility with the dish where you can pair a lot of things. I was planning on doing. Um, Hey, there's plenty of things on your list and our, our platform at Wine Access that we could pair. There's the Parador 2013 Tempranillo that's sure. incredible. There is uh, like Clodoval, Cabernet, things like that. There's a lot of Syrah. But this wine, I feel, definitely kind of holds the, the dish. And let's let's prove it and try it. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, hey, I'm going to dig in. Sounds <laughs> good. Let's do it. Dude. And I mean, oh how, how beautiful is that burger? I mean, that is incredible. That is, that is perfectly layers. Burger. Oh, my God. Good job, Jason. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Tell us a little bit about the bread. Mm -hmm. I think I'm crying. So, <laughs> yeah, feels good to eat a g, &G burger, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, wow. Speaking of which, you come to our patio starting July 1st. We will be doing kind of a, a soft opening, and you'll be able to have our burger on our patio. Um, uh, so make sure to come come join us. The bread, the bread is model bakery. Uh -huh. So there's certain things that that puts this this burger together. Um, and and this this burger was actually created by our original executive chef um, Kelly McCown. Mm -hmm. And it's my job to kind of just make sure. My job and Jason Bell's job to make sure that this burger is the same it was back in 2012. When mm -hmm. it was great. And I think we're, we're doing a pretty good job of that. So, uh, shout out to Chef Kelly, who's yeah. a great friend. Uh, he's over at the, the kitchen. Absolutely. In Sacramento. Yeah. So, uh, a great job of the burger. So, cheers. Cheers. Wow. To, cheers to Chef Kelly. Uh, this is uh, a combination of a lot of different companies out here that helped us put this together. The, the bread comes from Model Bakery. Which is a staple for the Valley. Staple for uh, the Oprah Valley. Winfrey loves their, their yeah. English muffins. And yeah, Sarah and family are amazing people. Who doesn't love their English muffins, right? Oh, my God. It's a, it's a fantastic English muffin. Uh, the, the pickles, uh, even mm -hmm. though we like to make our own pickles here, uh, everything else, all our other pickles here are, are made in-house. But this pickle for this burger is made by Sonoma Brainery. Mm. Uh, which does a fantastic job. It's their Manhattan pickle. Wow. Uh, and then the, the, the beef 
is uh, is brought to us by Marin Sun Farms. Mm -hmm. It's a combination it's of not, all these yeah. places that were, and has been the, the same sources ever since. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. So really supporting the small economy. And uh, I heard something. Oh, and, and also the bacon comes from from Heritage USA, oh. which are also great friends of ours. And uh, I don't want to forget that. So. Oh, no, absolutely. And I heard that uh, you're very picky as well with the oak you use. Absolutely. And you yeah. try not to divert from that. Well, it's it's a combination of the wood. So um, we, and once again, another great company around here. It's Bare Bottom Farms. Bare Bottom Farms uh, supplies our wood. Uh, along with a lot of other restaurants. Uh, I, I know when I was over at Farms that we use Bear Bottom Farms, and there's a lot of other restaurants around the valley that use Bear Bottom Farms. Um, it is a combination of white oak, cherry wood, um, and it, it, there is, if, if you switch it up, you could potentially change the flavor profile of the burger. And people have called you out for it, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Well, we were talking about this before. It was like one lady came in here. She's been having the burger for for years, and she uh, she said, "There's something different about this burger." And the, the ser server said, "No, there's nothing different about the burger." And they came and asked me. I said, "Well, actually, we, we had to substitute the wood today." <laughs> and sure enough, you know, they that, that talent that she was able to pick up the yeah the nuance. So I mean, it's everything that goes into it. It's very important that we use the same wood that we use. You know, the buns the um, Everything that, that makes the G&G &G burger. Absolutely. Oh, my God. This is the ultimate food porn. I mean, this is all the elements coming together. I, I can bathe in that burger and uh, finish a bottle of cab or two. Uh, pretty incredible. You guys got to try it. Um, you said also you're... The duck fat fries. Oh, Don't forget about the duck that's fat fries. the killer. Yeah. Roundup. Um, you said you're going to start selling some kits the week before 4th of July, right? Yeah, that's correct. So... Starting the week before 4th of July, we'll have kind of a uh, take it, uh, your, the burger home and cook it at your, your house um, sort of kits, you know, uh -huh. make yourself sort of kits. And so you'll, you'll be able to come and get the, the burger patties, a little bit of uh, Rembloth, the bun, everything that goes into making the g, &G burger. Uh, and we will be starting that the week prior to July. Uh-huh. Um, and leading up into the 4th of July. So the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, you pick up that kit, and it's going to be a nice picnic basket awesome. with um, with not just the burger, but some yeah. other fun things. That Perfect gift thing for, for grandma or for yeah, anybody absolutely. in the family that needs to uh, to explore a little bit into yeah. the, the outdoor world. Um, so recapping a little bit of the history, when was the restaurant open? The restaurant was open in 2012. Okay. So we just celebrated our our, uh, our eighth birthday. Wow! Congratulations. That is a true testament of. I mean, there's been re great restaurants coming out through this property, yep. Martini House, yeah, and Martini such, House, and, yep. and it's it's amazing that you guys took it over. I, I remember when you guys opened and coming here and always the buzz and it's amazing. It's worth yep. the drive. I live in Napa and you guys are here. And it's it's pretty incredible what you guys are doing. I, I moved to the Napa Valley right as Goose and Yander opened. Okay. And so from the beginning, That's I was when a you went to Farmstead. Yeah, I was, uh, went to Farmstead, and I was also a, a culinary student, well, right. a, a wine student at the culinary school. Um, but initially, I was a, a patron from the very beginning. Mm. Uh, you know, and, and this was the first place that I ever ate at, mm. ever had a cocktail at in the, in the Napa Valley. Well, when I moved here, I mean, before, prior, I had came to the Napa Valley, but... When I moved here, this was the first place that I came to in town. I was living in St. Lena. And I sat downstairs, and I had a burger uh, and a cocktail. And uh, th so this, this holds a you know, very special place in my heart, too. Awesome. Well, shall we dig into the, the next course? Absolutely. I'm Let's super excited. If you want to finish your white, we'll, uh, we'll move to the next beverage as well. Sounds good. Wow. And I'll open it as you as you please explain a little bit of the dessert. Um, uh, I do want to mention today, a uh, very important day, uh, the lives of a lot of people all over the world, is uh, Champagne Campaign Day. So sure. people celebrating with champagne uh, today or, or own so. homage to Champagne Campaign with a little bit of uh, Schramsberg, Blanc de Blanc, which is arguably one of the best. Uh, sparklings coming out of California oh, yeah. and the U.S. Absolutely. Uh, so we'll we'll try out the pairing. I thought 
um, this bearing, I've had very similar things with uh, this wine, and it's like uh, being carried by cheerleaders are you, as you're tasting. It's pretty elegant and exciting, the mousse, the citrus notes. So let's see what it's all about. Tell us a little bit about this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, about the dessert here. So yes. the dessert we have, uh, I don't know if everyone can see that, but this is a classic dessert here that we change up. Hey, Chef, can I get another glass, please? Thank you. Uh, this is a classic dessert that we've changed up. There's been many different versions of it. There's been, uh, you know, the way it's shaped, what it's served with, what's inside. But it's, it's our bass cake, um, and I call it bass cake muffin because we did it in a, in a muffin tin. Uh -huh. um, but this one is, is strawberry, and so we, we stuff it with st strawberries and caramel um, <clears throat> to – it's the season of strawberries right now. We've got a lot of beautiful strawberries out there. And so uh, the original recipe that was started here way before my time, and we just carry it on our pastry chef doing some fun things and so this time of the year it's strawberries strawberries some salted caramel um vanilla ice cream is nice to to go along with it so um chef jason was was uh, nice enough to, to put one together for us but awesome fantastic it is the it is just a, a, a great cake um uh, very simple but it's i mean it's just oh that's perfect for summer it's, it's so it's perfect the, yeah. the opening of a summer celebration yeah. Since we can't have a bottle rock do it this weekend as we usually do, this will do. Yeah. This will be just as amazing. Uh, you can see, like, this is, wow. Oh, It's man. just an absolutely gorgeous cake. All right, dig it. So. As far as the, the production, pretty simple to do at home? Yeah, absolutely. It's a small amount of ingredients. Um, you know, you're talking, you're talking butter sugar flour you know eggs uh strawberries mm -hmm. and then and then with the addition of the uh, the strawberries with the the cornstarch to help them um uh, actually line mm -hmm. with the, the actual cake itself wow but, that is fun mm. and that's 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 a pretty fun fun way to uh, kind of uplifting all the aroma yeah, the, citrus, huh? the sharpness really fun and Quite nice with the, the wine. Mm -hmm. There's already kind of that red fruit uh -huh. uh, note to, to the Shrewsbury uh -huh. that I pick up, so it's, it really, you know, complements quite well. Wow. Well, Chef, thank you so much. Absolutely. This was amazing and enlightening, and it was amazing to be able to see you and taste the dishes thank rather you. than doing it from home. And a big applause to you and the team and Jason and Andy and everybody involved in the project. So thank you. Cheers to you yeah, guys. Cheers. And to the real reopening. And Absolutely. Everything else. And cheers, guys. Thanks for joining Let's us. Look forward to seeing y'all. Yes. Enjoy. That is fantastic. I can do one more of each, please. <laughs>